Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work. And today we are going over 10 deadliest weapons. Now, these things could also be called tools. But let's just get right into this. So first up is the Kukri. So the Kukri... So the Kukri is still carried into battle by Nepalese soldiers called Gurkha... Gurkha... Both India and England have Gurkha, if I'm pronouncing that right, regiments in their army. Gurkhas were even present at Prince Harry's wedding a few years back. They are 100% handmade in Nepal, no electric tools required. And some say that this little notch right here is to prevent the blood from running down into your hand some say that that is just a myth but it is still a beautiful tool and also can be used as a tool not only in the battlefield but also taking care of brush and you know hacking trees and whatnot let's get to the next one now, all the rest of these are going to be pictures that I took from online. So let's get into them. Number two, the prison shank. Prison shanks have been found all across the world. In basically every prison, they're made out of just about anything you can find from fiberglass to, to metal, usually very pointy and basically used to stab. They have taken many lives in history, and as you can see here, humans will make weapons just about out of anything. Next up is the kitchen knife, which could actually be the top one of this list because it's taken probably more lives than any other tool or edged weapon um, in history. There's many different versions of it in different sizes. Everybody knows the kitchen knife. I actually have a story of my own of being attacked by a kitchen knife, but that's for another video. Number four, the Bowie knife. The Bowie knife was created by James Black for Jim Bowie in the early 19th century as a fighting knife and became famous from his duel known as the Sandbar Fight. Um, there's many different versions of this, usually Actually, always, it's a, a clip point blade with a, a big belly. We're going to show another version of this right here, but this is basically the, the standard one. And then you see another different version here. Um, this one looks like it has a hollow ground blade. But yeah, it's uh, definitely been known for a, as a fighting knife slash um, camping knife utility knife you know just basically an outdoors knife for defense and for food prep for um, breaking down uh, animals and you know skinning animals and stuff like that very versatile number five the pistol sword or pistol knife primarily a sword or knife for fighting but also has a firearm secondary for when crap hits the fan these weapons typically can't cannot be separated so basically used as a knife for knife fighting or a sword for sword fighting and then when uh you know that you have no other option you use the pistol or maybe if you're fighting two different people i know pirates had these and um, a lot of people in history there's lots of different versions of these if you look these up you'll see all different kinds of versions like this one this one's a sword um but yeah so you can uh, fight multiple people at once um yeah it's uh, definitely a deadly deadly weapon not only by the blade but also by the barrel next up the arsenal rsk one knife so this is a 22 caliber disguised as a knife with six shots the barrel and cylinder are concealed in the handle each shot is firing fired using the index finger so it's basically a gun just disguised as a knife but also can be used as a knife but it's a primarily a 22 caliber revolver 
because it's got a revolving cylinder. Next up, the Samurai Sword. The first known katana sword was a straight, double-edged iron blade inspired by Chinese swords. He noticed half the samurai came back from the battlefield carrying broken swords, especially after battling Mongolian invaders, leading him to redesign the samurai sword so that it would nearly be indestructible. A lot of people know the stories behind samurai swords. There's lots of movies um, that have samurais and samurai swords in them. You can see here, this is an authentic one. You can see the stingray um, skin wrapped around the sheath and also inside the handle. Um, this is definitely a beautiful uh, piece of art and also a beautiful weapon that in history has taken many, many lives and fought many, many battles. Next up. The Microtech Jagged Commando. The Microtech Jagged Commando gets its name from an Australian Armed Special Forces Operation Group. The Microtech Jagged Commando is a unique knife that has been milled from a solid piece of stainless steel. The blade's three sharpened edges twist as they come to a point while the grooves face feature drilled holes that that flow seamlessly together. This thing's supposed to be an extremely painful um, way to get stabbed. Not saying that I've been stabbed by it or heard from anybody that's been stabbed by it, but I think that was supposed to be the point that is supposed to do an, a, a massive amount of damage with each poke, stab, penetration, and do a lot of damage coming out and be very painful and make you bleed heavily if stabbed. Let's get to the next one. The next one is a ballistics knife. Now a ballistics knife, there's actually a couple different versions of this. Um, you see the, the blade on the left actually goes inside the handle to make up the, the whole blade that you see closest to you. Now if you pull the pin, you push the button and the blade shoots out. Now there's a couple different versions. There's one that take like basically a primer or an explosive inside the handle. So it actually shoots out kind of like a gun, except for it's shooting the blade. So you can actually use the blade and then shoot it when you want. Now there's also another version. I'm going to show that in just one second. But first we're going to um, look at a, um, you know, like an inside version or, you know, anyways, you're looking at it. So you see there how the blade comes out of the handle. So you pull the pin, you push the button and bang, it shoots. And then here's the spring version where the spring just compresses down inside that handle. And it's basically the same way, pull the pin, it shoots. I don't think this one has a button, but I think some of them do. I've seen different versions of this one. So I think just depending on the one you have. So some of them you pull the pin, push the button, it shoots. Other ones you might just pull the pin um, or maybe just rotate because you see how that one has like the hand guard on it. Um, but yeah, I've seen many different versions of this. They're usually pretty elite. In um, a lot of places, the, the spring version is more illegal than the explosion version or the one that uh, shoots out with, um, you know, with some type of explosive on the inside. And I think the reason behind that is because the spring version makes no noise. So you never even know nothing happened. And, you know, obviously the explosion one, the one with the primer or whatever inside, will make noise. Last up, the WASP. The WASP is a CO2 um, aired knife. So it's basically a shark knife. That's what it was made for. It was made for sharks. So if you're getting attacked by a shark, you can stab them and you push the little button on top of the knife and it shoots CO2 into them, making the inside of them explode. I've seen this thing used on watermelons and 
ballistics gel, and it is a devastating, a devastating uh, knife. I mean, it's insane. If, uh, if, if a shark got stabbed by it, it would instantly kill it, instantly. And the, if you look right up by the tip, you see that little notch? I'm going to show you another picture here in a second, but that's where the air comes out. So the air comes out right by the tip, and it shoots out the entire cartridge of CO2 in one shot. You see there? That's how it goes, and then you see the hole that goes all the way up to the tip. So basically, you pull the trigger, and the entire bottle of CO2 just goes shooting out. Now, I'm going to show you a picture here in a second of some ballistics gel. Um, I didn't want to take anybody else's videos or anything, but I got a picture of it being used. Um, but yeah, so devastating. I mean, this thing just blows up whatever it, right there. There you go. There's the ballistics gel. You can see he hit the trigger. This is the beginning. So the end result would be it exploding out. So you see it spraying out, actually. If you really look, I'm going to show you a closer version of this really quick. You see how it's spraying out the side? That's because all the air has nowhere to go. So it's already filled up the cavity and, and expanded so much that it's pouring out. Well, that's the same thing that happens to watermelons or a shark or whatever. There you guys go. If you guys can think of any other edged weapons I should check out, leave them down in the comments. I will be sure to check them out. Or if you just want to talk about any, leave it down in the comments. Also, if you like the video, uh, maybe drop us a like. And if you wouldn't mind following our channel and subscribing to us, that would be amazing. Um, we do giveaways constantly do giveaways we uh, also do monthly giveaways on our patreon so if you want to check that out everything and all the information plus a lot more stuff including knives and sharpening stuff is all down in the description so check it out we love you guys peace